When entering hard mode in Terraria, the range class debatably has some of the strongest and easy to obtain weapons compared to any other class. Today, we're going to be looking at one of my favourites, the Onyx Blaster. Off the bat, the Onyx Blaster can actually be easily missed as it was introduced in a sub-update of 1.3, the Desert Update. Fun fact about this, on a console player for I did a few years back, I didn't realise this update had only released on PC, so I gathered all the materials to craft it only to be met with massive disappointment. Anyway, speaking of the materials to craft it, let's delve into them, shall we? Firstly, you need to find the two Dark Shards from your Corrupt, Crimson or Underground Desert. These have a 1 in 10 chance of dropping from Dark or Blood Mummies, so I'd recommend homing in on these. This shouldn't take too long unless you're me, which has some of the most bizarre look in all of Terraria, taking me well over 30 Mummies and a Desert Key drop just to get the second shard. Next up you need 10 Souls of Night, which can be quickly obtained by building a simple layer farm in your underground evil biome. Finally, you need a shotgun, which can be purchased off the arms dealer for a base price of 25 gold. Now that we've got everything, craft your Onyx Blaster at a Mithril or a Calcomanvil, and we'll see how it performs. What makes the Onyx Blaster great off the bat is how it fires a spread of 4 bullets but only consumes 1 ammunition. It also fires a unique dark energy projectile that explodes on impact dealing twice the weapon's listed damage. Despite the Onyx Blaster receiving quite a significant nerf in Terraria 1.4.1, its DPS is still busted high due to the sheer amount of projectiles it fires. You can also use cursed bullets to further increase the DPS or go crazy with explosive bullets to increase the AoE. Personally, I'd also recommend Icor bullets, as the defense decrease can make this weapon deal even more damage than it already does. Now, let's see what it does against actual enemies. As expected, the Onyx Blaster performs brilliantly in the crowd control test, almost one-shotting mummies and pushing them very far away. The knockback can be increased even more with explosive bullets, almost turning it into a launcher weapon. Against the much more tanky enemy like Biome Mimics, the gun also performs very well, and would actually be the weapon I would recommend for taking out these things in early hard mode, as it deals with them rather quickly. The wide bullet spread also makes it extremely easy to aim and fire, as you don't need to be very accurate to hit an enemy with one of your shots. This is another reason why I'd absolutely use this weapon against small, fast-moving targets. Now, obviously what we're all interested in seeing is how it performs on bosses, and I'm first going to show you probably its weakest performance which is against the Destroyer. Its lack of piercing is noticeable here, but the explosive bullet AoE, along with the dark energy explosion, still makes it an easy fight, taking him out at a relatively quick pace. What I'm going to show you now is the reason I think this weapon is a bit too good. Matched against Plantera, a mid to late hard mode boss, it does perfectly fine and actually takes it out at a respectable pace. Hmm, the fact this weapon can be crafted very easily pre-mech bosses, but is powerful enough to carry you even post-Plantera, as Golem is even easier, raises a few questions for me. Is it a good thing how easy this weapon makes early hard mode for the range class? I find that you basically just craft the Onyx Blaster and blitz through half of hard mode without much thought. To be honest though, the range class in early hard mode is busted in general, giving you options like the Mega Shark and the Uzi 2, which although are a little harder to obtain, are still obscenely powerful. The question is, does the power of these weapons actually take away from the enjoyment of early hard mode due to making it easier than the melee class for example. What do you think? Has the Onyx Blaster always been your crutch weapon of choice for early hard mode, or would you rather use something else? Thanks for watching. For more Terraria content like this, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.